first of all, let me say, I think Stephen Hawking is and was a phenomenal physicist and an incredibly intelligent guy. And I think he's right to say, to, to point out just how incredible science is at explaining the world. But note what's doing the explaining here. It's not that atheism is explaining the world around us, it's that science is explaining the world around us. And atheism, and naturalism in particular, is the opposite, in that naturalism makes no predictions whatsoever about the universe around us. It explains absolutely nothing. As a theory that explains nothing, that makes no predictions, naturalism looks very simple. This is why Stephen Hawking can say that, you know, that, that this is the simplest solution. And it's also why you sometimes hear people try to invoke Occam's razor to cut out the idea of God. You know, we no longer, we modern people no longer need this omnipotent deity to describe the world around us. Let's just cut that out with Occam's razor, and now we have a much simpler universe. You know, I think Stephen Hawking had a lot of good and helpful criticisms of religion. For instance, I know that in this most recent book of his, he points out that for many years, people believed that the disabled, like him, were, li were living under the curse of God. And I think he's right to call out that sort of bad theology, because I don't think that that's correct. But what's lacking from Stephen's analysis is why he thinks that atheism offers a better alternative. I think from a Darwinian perspective, there really is a strong case to be made that strong, healthy, able-bodied able individuals are more valuable as far as the advancement and prolifer proliferation of the human species. From a bigger cosmic perspective, it's not clear to me why humans, as a genetic mistake, should have any sort of inherent value whatsoever. So I think that while Stephen did a good job of critiquing religion, he didn't apply those same standards consistently to his own worldview. And I think what Stephen really needed was not naturalism, but rather he needed a God that actually cared about the poor, the weak, the sick, the disabled, even when logic and common sense would tell us to leave them behind as a society. And I can't help but think of the time that Jesus has asked, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus says, neither of them sinned, but rather this happened so that the works of God would be displayed in his life. And Jesus heals him. You know, and to this God that Jesus was talking about, someone like Stephen Hawking isn't worth less because of their disability, but rather their disability creates even more room for God to work. And it makes it even more incredible when someone like Stephen has the success that they do.